recorded live from Studio 12A in sunny Phoenix, Arizona. You're listening to the Josh and Friends Podcast. Thank you for tuning in to the Josh and Friends Podcast. I am your host. My name is Josh. And this week, I have a very special guest here. I first met this guy back in first grade. Now, just to put that in perspective, a gallon of gas at this time was just 91 cents. The average cost to buy a house in this country was around $82,000. And the top movie at the box office that year was E.T., The Extraterrestrial. But we were just entering the first grade and I was about to meet one of my oldest friends. And he's here today to discuss all of that, including how we first met, growing up in the 80s, his amazing hair back in the day, and how he became the inspiration for the greatest song that I ever wrote. So without further ado, please help me welcome to the show one of my oldest pals. He is the one and only Mr. Manny Ratzemont. Manny, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, you know, <laughs> chilling like a villain. Awesome, man. So, yeah. so what are you up to, man? What are you doing yeah. right now? Just uh, spending time with the family, you know, Friday night. Maybe go hang out, play the pool later, you know, with some friends. But nice, you know, typical Friday night, man. We're getting older, you know. It's not, yeah, we can't go to the like the strip clubs or the. Uh, the <laughs> The uh, you know the ray parties, the keg parties anymore. You know. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll uh, we'll we'll save that. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we'll save yeah. those for another time. But yeah, no. So I I'm I'm really excited to have you on today because you're one of my oldest friends, and I mean we yes, go sir. way back. Like we're talking like the 40, early '80s here. Dude, forty years. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't have too many people that I know. I mean, I have a few people that I know that go way back that, that to that time, but it's it's uh it's pretty crazy to know people uh, that that long for that extensive amount of time. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, I feel the yeah. same. You know, it's it's meant to be. <laughs> right. Yes. And especially right now, it's meant to be. I guess you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna awesome, be. Man. So, where where are you working these days? What are you doing? What are you up to? Uh, I'm just a machine operator, man. You know, okay. Uh, nine to five should have stuck in school. You know what I mean? No, that's fine, dude. Stuck in, I'm sure you stuck in college, got a degree, that, right? but you know, you know what I mean? But yeah, hey, it pays the bills, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't yeah. no, I Anybody that rips on what people do, I, I don't, I don't respect that. Like, you know, right. I mean, it's a job. Every, Somebody's got to do it, right? Value. Yeah, yeah, it's a job. Absolutely. Somebody's got to do it, you know. And I signed up for it, so yep. So here yeah. I am. Yeah, you know? yeah. There you go. There you go, man. Yep. Um. So how's the uh, how's the weather out there right now? Oh, it's we needed the rain, man. We just uh, man, the smog over here is like uh the worst in the world, bro. A couple of days ago, the uh you know the air, the weather people did the test. It was the worst in the world. Oh, great. The air quality. Yeah. So that's not good. Like, I don't know how many uh, forest fires there was, but there was a lot. And finally, we got rain. So, you know, good. Yeah, it's a blessing. Yeah. To yeah, see rain, good. you know, you, you don't want to say, yeah, hey, I want to see rain, but, you know, yeah. right now is a good time to say it, you know. Yeah. Seattle people praying for rain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It never happens. <laughs> right. You know? right. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So that's, that's good that you finally uh, washed away all the, uh, the nastiness in uh in the yeah, air yeah yeah it was like fog out there you know in the middle yeah. of the day you look out it's like fog because of the yeah. smoke now, the next nine months is going to be rain so that they <laughs> <laughs> i hope not man because you know the weather here is kind of weird man mother nature's bipolar i tell you yeah 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 uh, so <laughs> so manny uh all right so we go way back obviously we just uh we just spoke about that but now you were actually born in laos Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. So, and now I feel that a lot of people that that's like one of the countries that I feel that people don't know exactly where that is, like on a map. Uh, now, it, it, where is Laos for people okay. that not know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laos is like literally connected to China. If you go north, that's China. If you go right. south, that's Thailand. 
most people know where Thailand is. Yeah. If you look up north, there's a little small country called Laos. That's crazy. Yeah, it's it's and funny. Then, and yeah. then and then to the the west is Burma. Gotcha. Burma, okay. And then yeah. to the east is Vietnam. There you go. There you go. There yeah. You go. Right. Yeah. Now, so, so what, what year were you born there? 76, 77? 70, 70, 75, 75. 75, okay. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Now, when did you guys move? And Ooh. Uh, well, we started to move uh, about uh, 1978, I believe, when the war, the, uh, the war was ending, the Vietnam War. Yeah. Right? Wow. So, uh, so I was about three, three or four. Um, when the when the Red Lao Army, the Red, the Communist backed up Lao Army, took over Lao. Wow. Yeah. So, so, so you probably that's like you probably don't remember that specifically, but I'm sure you remember yeah, like I, hearing stories and stuff, right? About yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, my sisters like telling me all these uh, you know stories like we uh, had to escape late at night. Uh, the whole village was on fire. Um, Dude, that's crazy. You know, we had to cross over to Thailand. You know. Literally, wow. the Mekong, the Mekong River is a big river uh, in in Laos that separates Thailand from uh, Laos. So literally, we we just pack up, you know, backpack whatever we can. And I, I remember my sister carrying me and my sister Ning, you know, uh, just to just to get away because my dad was in the uh, in the army. He was he was fighting with the CIA, you know, wow. the CIA. Yeah, he was fighting w- with the Americans, you know, the U.S. Army. Yeah, whatever. And but uh, but Laos lost, you know, they actually lost the war. So uh, if we stay there, they're going to kill my dad because he's, you know, fighting against them, of course. And, um, you know, we had to leave everything behind, bro. Probably had like maybe, you know, fifty dollars U.S. money. So how did you for a family of 10, you know? Yeah. So how do you even how do you move if you have I mean? Uh, we we just had to cross over to Thailand because Thailand was an open border. They had an open border policy where, you know, anybody could come and, uh, you know, try to, uh, refugee, ref, refuge, you know? Yeah. So that's what we did. And, um, luckily, uh, my mom, my mom's uh, younger brother worked for the refugee administration for the United States. He actually signs people up to, to get sponsored to come to the United States. Wow. So we were actually, you know, there was like, man, uh, thousands and thousands of people ahead of us. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but he had to make it happen, you know? Now, how many people in your family, how many moved like at once? Uh, uh, nine, nine. N- nine, nine of, of you? Us. Yeah, yeah, nine of us. I still have an older sister that, uh, that stayed back. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever been back to visit? Like, or? Oh, no, no, not yet. Not yet. Not no. Yet. No, but that's like kind of like in your bucket list of things to do. Yeah, of, yeah, of course, of course. I want to go there before you know, before I, yeah, you know, pass. Yeah, that's. I'm probably gonna go there uh, in a couple of years. I'm gonna go to Thailand and Laos. That's my. That's, that's pretty cool. I mean, that'd be yeah. that's pretty cool to see. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. You know, I still got man, nephew, nieces I haven't seen. Uh, you know, it's yeah. Wild man, that's wild. Yeah, now, yeah. Now, so you moved to Washington. Now, do you do you guys go somewhere else first, or do you guys just end up in Auburn? No, you know? no, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. You have to go to Thailand, sign up for a refugee. Uh-huh. You have to get a sponsor, right? The government not gonna you know give you a uh, you know free plane ticket, right? Yeah. But, um, but during that time, the Philippines was part of the uh, refugee movement, so they shipped us from Thailand to the Philippines. Okay. Yeah, to to an island where you know uh, it's a small village where refugees just hang out and wait, and uh, you know they pass out you know bread, you know like like a food bank. You go to the food bank. Yeah. And you know just to survive, you know. And uh, luckily, my dad, man, he's you know he's he's very um, intelligent, smart, and um, he made a lot of friends. You know, we went to the Philippines, man. He had so many Filipino friends, and he doesn't even speak the language so you know we were getting free chicken you know coconut you know and all that you know yeah nice. and um yeah it was a blessing you know and um yeah i remember you, you know looking out to the island of the philippines into the water mm-hmm. it's literally like water you know above the island because it's so far out 
So horizon looked like you're looking above, uh, below the water, you know? Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, it's weird because it, you look it out so far and the ocean looks higher than, the, you know, to, to where you, you're standing. It was weird. It was a weird thing. That is weird. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because the ocean's nonstop. It's weird. So yeah. you have memories of that. So yeah. So you guys moved. So you guys were there for how long were you guys there in the uh, about about six months? Okay. Okay. So yeah. after that time, then are you able to get over to? Yeah, 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 yeah. This this Christian uh, uh, this Christian family or church. Mm -hmm. They sponsor my whole family. Wow. They, you know what I mean? The the church actually supported my whole family. Um, you know, got us the plane ticket, got us, you know, uh, visa, whatever, immigration paper. It's amazing. Yeah. So, so we end up in Des Moines. Des Moines. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. With, with my cousin that got us uh, the paperwork to come here. Remember my mom's younger brother? We actually stayed with them in their house and they had like, you know, eight or nine uh, family members. So it was a packed house. That's yeah. Crazy. Yep. That's wild. Yeah. Man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then and then uh the sponsor got us, you know, um you know, a welfare program, you know, made for uh, you know, refugees and and uh you know the poor. So that's wild. We to, yeah, yeah, we were able to rent a house in Des Moines, our own okay. place. Okay. So, and now I you know, I you gotta bring it up. Did you speak English at this point in time or this is, I mean, you were, you, you were very broken English when I, I mean, you speak great English now, but like back in the day, you were like, I always like respect people <laughs> that can pick up a language that's completely foreign because I have tried to learn a couple of different languages and I'm like, I'm lost. I can't do it. But I, I mean, I guess if I, if you dropped me in a location, you have to be able to pick up something, but but that's that's pretty wild. Like you guys were able to not only uh, learn the language, but go to school and thrive. And you know, it, it's pretty wild that you know you guys were able to pick up you know everything at such a young age. I mean, I guess that's when you have to do it. Is like at a yeah, young yeah, age, yeah, yeah. Older people, yeah, because you know, at that young, at that young, it, you know, you, your brain's still growing, right? Yeah. So, right. So you you're able to uh, you know pick up information and hold it more than you know my dad. You know, he still couldn't speak. English, you know what I mean? Yeah. 20 right. years, he still couldn't speak English, you know? Gotcha. But, uh, so basically, you were speaking English, like, in school, but then you'd, like, go home and then you could speak. Yeah, yeah speak Laotian. Yeah, Laotian, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so I had, you know, you had to mix it or else your parents would understand you, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. Yeah. So, you guys yeah, so I know no English when I came here and, you know, I gradually, you know, sink or swim, right? You either... Learn yeah. it, or you, you're not going to go anywhere. Right, right, yeah. yeah. You, I think, when I first remember meeting you, I was looking through old pictures and stuff like that, and I, I swear it was uh, first grade. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Because I, I didn't see, I, I have some of those old, like, you know, group class pictures and stuff like that, and I swear, like, no, lots of me. Is she like a, like a half-sister, or is she full-sister? What is Let's she's um, she's a uh, uh, she's actually my niece. Niece, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Gotcha, gotcha. We, we, we had uh, we had to make her make her my my um, my sister oh, because gotcha. of the paper. <laughs> they don't they only allow immediate family. Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay. It's funny because our birthdays are only six months apart. That on the is paper. funny. I always wondered. I was like, wait, how do you guys like? <laughs> but yeah, hey, yeah, do what so, you gotta so, do, so, man. Yeah. That's that's hilarious because like I, it's funny because going through those pictures, it was like I was either like in one class with you or one class with her, like all, like alternating like all throughout. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. great. But I always liked you guys too because I kind of you know there was like the people that grew up on the other side of the tracks, and then you guys were kind of like in my area. <laughs> So like, yeah, I, yeah, like yeah. I'm like I'm like I didn't like you guys. I was like you know you got to keep yourself busy. We were like, all right, well I got a basketball. I can play sports. I guess so, you know. <laughs> and you guys were always out there playing sports and doing yeah. running around whatever, doing whatever. And yeah, I like yeah. that. <laughs> we yeah. weren't. The, I, I 
wasn't usually kicking out at the mall because, like, you know, hanging out at the mall, I have to spend money. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't have money, so you know, the only thing we had was, was a, a ball and a basketball. You know, right. a basket and a ball. And what, yeah, yeah. You know, that's free fun. Yeah, free fun. Yeah, free. Fun. Go down to the river, like yeah. throwing rocks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> throwing rocks. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Now, I so the, I bring up your name because I think. You know, I I think you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of figured that. I, I, so, now, Manny, I don't think that it was. I don't think it was the first. It wasn't the first year that this came about, but it, it could have been the second year. But I was think. I think it was probably the the third year. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's the right? third year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure it's the third year. You know. Yeah, when, when, and, when I said, you know, uh, sleeping at your house. You know, I think a couple of times I slept at your house. And then that was amazing to me because, you know, I never slept at, you know, anybody's house, you know, yeah. that had American food, you know. <laughs> and, and, right. you know, I was like, man, this is good stuff, you know. <laughs> That's so awesome, man. I totally forgot about that. It was kind of like the, uh, uh, what was that? God, it had been one of my birthday parties when I had a big, like, st- slumber party, like fourth grade or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I totally, that, that's so funny. My mom, remember like we kept making up my mom. Like my mom was like, I got to work in the morning. We're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're like, yeah. What, what do you expect, man? You have like uh, that many, you have like 10 kids like sleeping in the living room and a semi small house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Things are going to get a little crazy. Yeah. yeah. So, but your name, I always loved your name because it rhymed. And I was like, that's <laughs> so amazing. That is so awesome. Man of Vong, Rats of Vong. Love it. I've lo- I've always loved your name. And and that's when I was like, you know what? Like every, you know, like songs rhyme, right? So like you always have like yeah. songs rhyme and you have like a, a core. I, I never really came up with a, um, you know, a verse. Uh, I don't think, I mean, maybe I created one, but it was always like, I always had the chorus in my head. Right. And it was yeah, always yeah. like, and, and, and look, we could, we could sing this together because we still know this song. We, I, I mean, this is, this is probably the first song I ever wrote. I mean, <laughs> it's, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I like the song because the song is about me, right? Exactly. <laughs> I love that song. Yeah, so, so basically what I would do is we would go out to the playground and stuff like that. You know, I mean, we're talking like elementary right here. This is like way old school. Like we're talking like early eighties. <laughs> so, so yep. And, you know, I'm not like a songwriter or anything like that, but I'd be like, hey, Matt Vong, I love your name, man. And you're like, yeah, yeah. And like, we got we to create a song, man. And it was like kind of right at the beginning of like, you know, rap and stuff like that. And we're like kind of like yeah, beatboxing yeah. and stuff like that. So I'd be like, Matt Vong. And then once in a great while, I'd be like, you got to do like a bending guitar, like Matt Vong. Matt Vong. Damn, man, it was like, and, 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 it, and I tried to make it like, you know, try to get more like, you know, beats involved and stuff like that. And, uh, it's just always good fun, man. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. you started singing it too. You'd be like, yeah. Man about good stuff man. <laughs> <laughs> love it love yeah, it that's, yeah yeah that's i love that man that creative <laughs> you know you, you had creative minds back then you know <laughs> well listen it wasn't anything crazy it was, it was right up my alley where i can uh you know just i was uh, you know also at that point in time it was kind of like my idols at that point in time were kind of like remember that old movie um Police Academy, where you had the guy that doing all the voices and stuff like that. I love that guy. What are you in for? I'll show you. God damn it! Stop that! That's terrific, really. And that that was probably like one of my biggest inspirations because then I would just start to try like you know imitate yeah, people yeah. and you know try to. <laughs> but now I uh, I have to bring up your brother. Chung Rai. Right. Now, right. okay, so I, I knew you, and I, I was like friends with you, definitely, but I didn't know your brother too much. I mean, I, I, I liked your brother, I, you know, but he was like, uh, you know, he's how, how much younger was your brother? He was like uh, four years younger. Four years younger, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now what 
ended up like I it's kind of muddy like the I don't know if you you know want to talk about this but you know sure it yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. it it sucks but it's like uh so what what ended up happening to your to your brother man well he you know my brother was always been a you know uh, a nice guy he always would give you know he he always like love his friends more than you know me probably you know what I mean yeah so he he just met the wrong people um through his lifetime he never had a driver license you know he 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 liked smoking weed he loved ecstasy uh you know he he did crystal meth and you know all that but then he you know stopped all that and then he started drinking you know because uh, my mom passed away bro when i when i was 12 you know oh man he, he was like eight so um you know my mom was the one that kept the family together yeah so, so when dad died, you know, uh, when, when she died, my dad was just there, you know, to put a roof over our head and make sure we had food, you know, but, but we on our own, you know, yeah. Because he, you know, he had to, you know, work and, you know, he was never home, you know, basically, you know, my brother would, uh, you know, bring all his friends to the house, eat up all the food, uh, drink all my dad's beer. And my dad would, uh, by the time my dad come home, they would scatter. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> It, it, it would happen, man, so many times that, you know, my dad had to start hiding, you know, food and then, <laughs> you know, beer and, uh, you know, and, and, and my brother was, you know, very rebellious, you know, we, he really went against my dad. Uh -oh. I don't know why, but, you know, yeah. And um, so making a story short, uh, you know, and he loved gambling, you know, when he went big, he would like, you know pass out $50 to the random people, you know, Dang. that's just the way uh, my brother was. And, um, and then he, he lived in, uh, I don't know if you know, the, the, uh, the apartment colonial village in Auburn colonial village. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. 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 He lived there by okay. himself, you know, and you know, I come visit him and his house would just be a total wreck, man. Just like, you know, I was like, bro, brother, you know, you got to, you know, shape up. He's like, oh, well, I will, you know, you know, and he, and he never does. But, uh, but, but he had, you know, many friends, like 20, 30 guys in one apartment, you know, one time, you know, and um, I guess one day he, he invited the wrong group of people, you know, into his house and, and they got drunk and, you know, try to rob him and he, he, he wouldn't let them. So they, they actually beat him. Fuck. They they jumped him. Uh, it has to be like at least ten guys stomping on his head because oh my god! When he called me, bro. He called me. His head was like a sign of a pumpkin. You know, a pumpkin. Oh shit! Yeah. Jesus. And you know, yeah. And I go, are you uh, are you going to work? And he goes, yeah, I'm still going to work. I'm like, dude, you should just stay home and rest. No, he goes, no, no, I need to go to work. I'm gonna get fired. You know. And oh yeah, he, yeah, it was bad, you know, and he would go to the casino still with, with the big pumpkin head. I was like, dude, what are you doing? And then, and then slowly, you know, he got better The you know, uh, you know, thing, but then he said, Oh my, my head hurts, you know? Oh no. And, and I go, I go, yeah, I go, you better go see the doctor right now. You better. Uh, so I had one, I called up one of my friends, you know, cause I was in California at this time. Okay. So, so I called one of my best friends and I said, Hey, could you take my brother to the hospital? And then call me when you get there, right? So, so when they get there, my brother called me. He goes, "Oh, Manny, I'm, you know, I'm so much pain, and the doctor won't give me water." I was like, "Maybe they're gonna do do some tests on you, right?" And he goes, "Oh, I need water. My my, uh, they they inject me with IV. My body's feeling hot, bro. Uh, man, I need water. They won't give me water." He was like getting answered. I said, "Bro, uh, listen to me. Uh, they're the doctor. They know what to do. Okay." Um, you just listen to them, and then when you get better, I, I'm gonna move you out and live with me. And he says, "All right, bro. All right, I'll I'll, I'll listen to you. Um, you know, and I'll see you soon." And and that was the last time I talked to him. That was the last time that you spoke to your brother. Yeah, that was the last time I spoke. He was he was conscious. So what happened? Did he just die of a brain so, aneurysm or something? Or um, they uh, he. The doctor said that quote that he's in so much pain that I had to do an induced coma. Oh my they had God. to put him in, a, put him to sleep. 
but I guess that was that was uh, I, I think they gave him too much or whatever because he he told me his body was you know burning up. Oh my god! You know, yeah. So so that was the last time I talked to him because you know I told him, hey, bro, just listen to them. Uh, they they're the doctor. They know best. And when you uh, wake up, and you get better. I'm gonna move you out here to California and stay with me. Sure. You know. And he was like, oh, okay, brother. I'm so happy you, you know, you, yeah, you promised me that. I go, yeah, yeah, you know. And then um, I guess a couple hours later, my best friend called me, dude. Your brother's in a coma. So that is awful, man. I'm sorry. To that's hear. when I had to get a plane. Yeah, yeah. That's when I had to get a plane ticket and flew down. And uh, yeah, yeah, he was in a coma. Yeah. How long was he in a coma? Uh, five days. Wow. Man. And then, uh, and then they say his uh, organs were failing and all that stuff. And, you know, I, I plead my sister not to, uh, you know, unplug him, you know. But, yeah, but he's, he, yeah, his, uh, his organs were, were already failing. So um, I guess that's the choice that they made, um, you know. That is completely terrible. Oh, that's, that's awful. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, what, yeah. What was crazy is that you you saw his gravestone. Yeah, yeah, I did. Tell I, me that. I don't. On I accident. You know, yeah, because it was right next to I believe Cameron, which is my brother's best friend. He died in a motorcycle accident, and we were. What what year did your brother pass away? Oof, man, uh, ten years ago. Ten years ago, yeah, because like I was visiting. Yeah. I just I wanted to see where my brother's best friend was buried and i mean just right up the we just we were kind of like looking around and i, I was like that's chung rack i was like yeah. dude i didn't know he i didn't know he was like in the same area up there so yeah i mean wow so i that's why i think i messaged you and i was like dude i got to yeah. see him. you know yeah yeah sucks yeah. but you know what? That's kind of like our tribute to uh, to Chung Rack because I liked I liked him. I liked you know your whole family. That you guys are all like uh, pretty always cool to me, man. Like I remember. You, I don't know what this. This really is in my. It's burned in my head. There's this. I don't know if you remember this. At Cascade Junior High, they had this kind of like thing where at night on a I want to say like a Friday night or Saturday night or something like that. They would yeah yeah. yeah. They would have this community thing where where basically everyone could go in there and like play sports and whatever and they yeah, would yeah, yeah 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 they had an open gym they had an open gym so, yeah. okay, so this is this is funny man this is awesome so i remember i i don't remember who i was with maybe i was by myself i don't know but i remember i rode my bike and i was like i i was like i see people moving around in there and i and i went up and i and the door was locked i tried to go in <laughs> <laughs> I tried to go in and, uh, and I was like, I was like, I, I want to go in. There. I go, I think I see some of my friends. I saw like, you know, McCoy and, and, and you, and maybe even Chung yeah. Rack. Like it was yeah, like a yeah. bunch of all ages, different people and stuff like that. And I was like, I was like, those are, those are some of my friends in there. I, I go and I, and I tried, I like waved it down. Cause like it was locked and I swear, I swear it was like you that opened up the door. And I, and I went in, I was like, this is awesome, man. Like, I love sports. I can't get enough of sports back in the day. I was just yeah. like, yeah, let's play some sports. And, and then someone noticed that I was in there. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was not supposed to be in there. And uh, I think it was like for a certain like uh, group of people. And, uh, and I wasn't kind of like, um, you know, on the list or whatever. So I had to, uh, I had to leave. But, um, but I just, I love that story because I, I just, I think it's funny because all I wanted to do is like hang out with you guys. <laughs> I just love people playing sports. I wanted to be a part of it. And, uh, and I think, uh, one of you guys let me in. I, I don't know. I, I want to say it was you because like, yeah. you know, you're I probably think, the I most. I think it was me. I think it was me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it had to be, but... dude. Cause like, you're like the closest one I, I know of like pretty much everybody. And I was like, Hey, Hey, <laughs> and you're like, I'll let you in. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was one guy who asked, one of the Asian guy, we like to play volleyball, basketball, whatever. And they, they gave him the key. Oh, um, okay. So, so this is why they shut it down. Uh, me, McCoy and the Shaloon and everybody messed up their whole gym toy and the gym equipment where, yeah. they, where they put it behind the curtain. Right. We, we were like playing like a Navy SEAL and uh, 
That would be so fun. And, <laughs> and we just we just messed up the whole, um, you know, where they put all the be- you know, the beams and all the stuff that the gymnastics. Yeah. Yeah, we would like took took it out and try to, you know, play gymnastics, and we're not even supposed to touch that. They're like, oh man, this is this is causing. Yeah, so they took trouble. the key away. Yeah, they said, hey, you guys can't come over no more. <laughs> like, shut it down. We're shutting so, it down. We are shutting yeah, it down. We're shutting it down. Yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious, yeah, man. Yeah. So after elementary, <laughs> after elementary school, the pool of kids got a lot bigger. We're in junior high now. We're in junior high. We stepped it up, and I, you know, we didn't, we didn't hang out as much in junior high. Maybe like when we there was like turkey bowl or something like that. I think you played in a couple of those, like just running around. Yeah, yeah, I did. But, I, did. <laughs> but I do remember always uh, seeing you around school, and I don't know if it was like maybe later junior high or early high school, but you had that amazing hair. Can we talk oh, yeah. about hair? That was amazing. The big old spiked hair. Dude, How yeah. Did that to do, man. Dude, <laughs> Dude it, took, it, it took my whole can of hairspray every day. <laughs> the, o, the ozone layer is uh, completely yeah. depleted because of Manny over here. <laughs> yeah. Aquanet. Aquanet. Oh, that's yeah. hilarious, dude. That is hilarious. Yeah, hairspray, Aquanet. I, would, I remember I'd be like, I, I gotta, I gotta touch this man. You're like, oh yeah, go ahead. And like, uh, and it'd be like, just, it, it'd be like you're, you know, like back in the old war days when like they would make those spikes where like you'd fall on these spikes. It was like, it was like touching like one of those spikes, you know, on the, uh, on the hand. Now, did you use that hair for like a, you know, part of uh, your protection? You're like, look, you could, you could fight me, but you're like kind of like a rhinoceros. You just like. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called it's called the porky fine deep the porky fine deep <laughs> <laughs> way better description way better yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome dude no, yeah no, was- i made somebody hand bleed bro my my next door neighbor wanted to feel my hair no <laughs> and, and she went like that bro and it she goes ouch and then it it had dude, blood i she don't think bleeding. people people probably think we're exaggerating and this is no exaggeration your hair was like it was the hardest spikiest hair that i've ever felt in my entire life it was insane yeah. it's crazy man i thought i was cool you know what i mean i to, me, yeah. I to think back i was like man maybe i made it wrong <laughs> you know yeah, man it was awesome you could see you walking down for like a mile away you're like oh it comes yeah. me dude you see his hair first you like just see his hair bobbing down the, the hallway yeah <laughs> it's awesome <laughs> yeah it's a perfect spike you know yeah it's awesome dude yeah, um man. Now, are there any uh, are there any stories like uh, about me that you remember from back in the day? I don't know if you do, but like I'm I'm bringing up some that I remember about you. But I mean, anything anything funny or dumb or anything anything that sticks out in your head that that we did back in the day? Man, just spending a night at your house, bro, was <laughs> was the coolest thing, dude. And because you had so many toys, you know, you had like you know baseball. You know, what I mean, you had all the the, the toys that I didn't have, you know, the only thing I had was that slingshot, you know? Oh, yeah. That was the only thing I had to play with rocks, you that know? Fun. Yeah. You know, play with rocks and, uh, you know, play rocks and sticks and, you yeah. know, whatever, you know. I just rem- remember going to your house and, you know, spitting a night, and that was the coolest thing I ever did. That's awesome, man. Yeah. I love it. I love it. You know? Yeah. I, but, those, those, are, those are some good times back in the day. And uh, it's funny because like, you, you mentioned that I had all these toys, but... I had friends that had ridiculous more, like way more to, like toys than I did. Like they're like every yeah. He-Man figurine and all this kind of stuff. And, like, every <laughs> yeah. And stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, I have like one, I have like a, a wrestling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I do remember uh, this one time and I, I, this is one of these stories that, that I hate, but I'm going to bring it up. Uh, do you remember like back in the day, there was like this, this kind of like, you know how there's like these trends of like when people would say something or or do something. And this is like, again, this is back in the 80s. So this is like a way long time ago. And they would have this thing where like, you, you'd be like, you, you you go like this, you're like, you go, you like go to hit somebody. And and if they flinched, then you get like two for flinching. And I hate, oh, I hate that game. I hate, I hate that game. Yeah, I hate that game. <laughs> Me too. It's so stupid. But I remember- yeah. I, I like, I used to take my knuckle like this. I'm like, Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to get my money's worth. Cause like I used to get yeah. it. Like, br- I come on with bruises. Like people would like hit me and stuff like that. And I did it once to you. 
and you're like so nice. You're like, again, this is like way back in the day. We're like little kids. And I remember I like, I, I did it to you and I was like, and then you just like literally just took it. And then you're like, your, your, your eyes started tearing up. And I, I swear to God, Manny, I feel so bad. I, I still feel bad to this day when I, I see, I can see your face. Like, you're not like just ball. You're not bawling, but like you teared up and I'm like, this is like the, one of the worst I've ever felt like in my entire life. Because like you're you're like the nicest guy, and like here I am like doing the the flinch game on Manny. I'm like, what what am I? A tough guy? What is this? What, what, this is like so stupid. But I just wanted to say that. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, dumb, right? so stupid. Well, we could play now. We could play again. Uh, <laughs> right? You're like, like you want to play, no. no. play again? No. Right. <laughs> um, remember the uh, the slug bug game? Yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah, when you see the freaking slug bar, I hate that game too. They're all stupid. Yeah. They're all dumb. You, you, you know the one is you put that hole in your knee. Uh, yeah, it made you look. Remember? Right, right. There, there's so many variations of this. Like, yeah, hey, look, it's a hurts donut. You do you want a hurts donut? Yeah. What's a hurts donut? Then you hit them. Hurts donut. Uh. No, they're all dumb. They're all dumb. <laughs> yeah. So, so you mentioned that after high school you moved to California. No, 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 no. I moved there when I was thirty. 32. Oh, okay. Okay. So it was, it was considerably after high school. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 What, what made you move down there? What, what was your deciding factor? Uh, it, it, it just my, yeah. My father passed away and you know, I'm, uh, my sister lived in California and I had a chance to go to live there. And I was like, fuck, you know, you know, why not, you know, chase the, uh, you know, the American dream, the Hollywood dream. Yeah. Right. You know, because because I was a script, you know, I, I write scripts for movies, you know. It's awesome, man. I just freelance, you know, I got the program and everything, you know, and I'm I'm still trying to finish this movie. It's called Swords of the Gods that That's that I awesome. need to get back into. Yeah. yeah, Swords of the Gods, yeah. So now what is that kind of, without giving it away? We don't want anybody to steal this. Uh, so okay, what, okay, okay. The, the 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 end of the world happens through the Buddha religion. And not as the Bible says. And um, basically, in the year two thousand, uh, you know, thirty, a bunch of Buddhist monks' temple did a did a fortune, you know, about the future. Okay. All the temples had to do this, so they all came out with the same conclusion, bro. The end of the world is happening, you know, in twenty years, right? Yeah. The devil's coming back. Uh oh. Uh, you know, with with his army full of ninjas and. A, you know, samurai, you know, uh, and shit like that. And the monk had to find a way to find a secret how to stop it. So the monk decided, the, the eldest monk out of the whole temple, go into this forbidden cave to talk to the to the evil spirit. So the oldest monk volunteered uh, because once you go in there and you come out, you won't, uh, you get sick and you die. Jeez. Just to now, get the this, information. Is this kind of like so, a... Is this kind of like a thriller? Man, this is like drama, action, thriller, comedy. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so anyways, this monk goes into the cave, and the spirit tells him they're, they're going to be eight children born in the whole world that year. Eight child on my birthday, actually. I wrote it on my birthday. Uh, <laughs> on April 12th, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. There's going to be eight children. The monk had to go collect them all, right? There's yeah, one from Africa, United States. You know, I'm you know I kind of threw it around. One in Lao, which is going to be me. I was going to play one of the one of the guys, right? The, the the monk and um and the United Nations, you know, and the uh, NATO. They all had to protect the monk to go collect because even the United States believe in what the monks are saying, right? Yeah. So yeah, the UN, you know, had the security uh, escort all the monks to go collect these babies, right? So, um, so I was a stillborn. So I, I, the devil, you know, trying to kill me because he, the devil knew that I was a special one, right? Yeah. You know, in the movie. So the monk had to do a, a traditional uh, ritual. It's like you know, you get like twelve live chicken and a butterfly cocoon, yeah. and you sacrifice the chicken for the evil spirit, and then the cocoon coming to abide the baby lives. Wow. So then I cry, you know, I, you know, I cry and I live, of course. But uh, the, the thing is, they had to collect all the eight babies and train them the art called Swords of the Gods. That's yes. cool, man. Yes. I can see that. I can visualize this in my head. I can visualize this, especially with you as the lead. Yeah. Like you, you got like a 
you have like a Rocky thing going on here. Or Sylvester Stallone kind of like, remember he like wrote the, the screenplay to, to Rocky. And then he's like, well, I'm going to star in this movie. That's you. Yeah. Well, you know, I might be too old. It might have to be my son. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> but, but me and you could be a monk in there. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Like, you know, you know, we're walking. Yeah. You know, to every town, you know, every town, every, like you know, every village. <laughs> the, yeah. One of the old guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, that's awesome. Yeah, so, that's awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. So they have to be trained. The, this art called sports of the guy that takes twenty years to master. Wow. Yeah. Yep. That's and, awesome. Yeah, and and then each one has their own unique power. You know. Now, have you have yeah. you are you, so you're still working on this, or have you shopped this thing around? No, no, no I'm still. I'm almost finished. I'm like seventy five percent. Not bad. You know, okay. finished. But, you know, then I'm also a songwriter, you know, a freelance songwriter. I, I don't know if I send you one of my songs, right? It, it, it won't be have. the same without you. Remember that? Which one? I Which think song? I send you that song. It's called It Won't Be the Same Without You. It Won't Be the Same Without You. I don't recall, but I'm, I definitely want to hear it. Now, is this like, what kind of music? Yeah, you, you, uh, it's, it's a love ballad. It sounds like the 80s, bro. Uh, Oh, I'm all uh, the guy that I paid, the guy that I paid to uh, produce my song, uh -huh. he made it sound like the '80s ballad, love ballad. Uh -oh. It was a long time ago, and I was lost in the cold until the day you came from above and showed me the true meaning of love that felt so Like a miracle it sounds I was lost but now I found The true meaning of my life So much for you to be my wife Just hold me close and hold me tight In your arms But the day came to an end you blamed it on my friends Nothing else can make you stay Now I sit alone and pray For you to come back to me Oh please It won't be the same without you I'm ashamed cause I lost you I tried to play Now I'm missing you every day In this world filled with pain In this world filled with pain That's awesome, man. Right on. Right on. Now, now Manny, I saw on your Facebook a while back, Rhino for Life. Yes, sir. What is that? Yeah, that's, Tell us about that. That's my clothing brand. Okay. It's, 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 it's called Rhino for Life. I'm still working on it. I'm, I'm trying to find, you know, a manufacturer uh, sourcing from out of, out of, you know, United States because it's too expensive, you know, right. to make money. Sure. So, you know, and I, you know, and I didn't, then I need to uh, get a website, but I'm not a web designer. So I'm still, you know, I mean, it's in the works. <laughs> so what's the story of like, where did the name originate from? Uh, when I used to work out in, uh, when I worked out in California, I used to be a gym rat, you know? Yeah. Uh, hey, so, shark, which way is to the gym? This way or this way? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the bathroom that way. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, uh, I used to live with bodybuilders and, you know, and it was like, Manny, man, you're strong, man. You're strong like a rhino. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I was like, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and then, then then I started, uh, they call me Rhino. Gotcha. Yeah, I went by my nickname, Rhino. And then, uh, you know, uh, to me, God's really important to me, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I feel his present, you know. And I was like, Rhino for life. There you go. Rhino for life. And then well, what's Rhino for life going to be? It's going to be a, a outdoor... Uh, outdoor athletic wear you know kind of like gotcha. nike, you know nike meets yeah. um the outdoor clothing line whatever it is kind of right. like you know you, 
yeah, and, and it has that that that, that logo right off the yeah. light. That's you know, just like Tommy has his, uh, Nike has that. Now, Champ, now yeah, I have Nike. Right yep. Yeah, 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 exactly. And I'm looking for a partner. If if anybody out there that wants to be in the run of life, you hit me up. Let's do this. Dude, boom! You heard it here, man. He's he's looking for uh, he's looking for assistance. So yeah, if you're uh, yeah, if you're yeah. First, I mean, you know, Rhino for life. Yeah, hey, Rhino for life. You could no get spike spec yeah. in your in your hair. <laughs> the real Rhino. Yeah. See, I went from a porcupine to a Rhino. See? <laughs> That's awesome, man. All right, so yeah. Manny, I've been doing this little kind of like segment here where I ask. My friends, you know, just like a speed round of like random questions. And I know that you actually gave me one before we kind of started here. Right. And it's a great question because I've, I actually asked my grandfather the same question. Have you ever had a close call like where you came close to dying or uh, had a close call with death? Dude, I got like, I got at least seven in my head right now. Seven in your head? Seven. Yeah, seven, seven, dude. We, we gotta hear a couple of these here. Okay, well, well, the first, the first one is when I was three, right? Three. My dad took me fishing, fishing with him when I was three. Well, you know what? What kind of dad's that? But <laughs> <laughs> just trying to teach you how to survive, man. Teach yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so he was in a small river, right? A small river, and he pulled me on top of this. Uh, uh, little lever or cliff yeah. above him right okay yeah and um and in asia we use this root to poison the uh the fish you know take out the oxygen that this is special plant that you have to uh you, you know you have to break it yeah. to get the juice out and put it in the water well he had a machete right and, and he was pounding it right oh no pounding it uh with the blade sticking up and uh you, you know he's using the back of the knife you know yeah top it up and Fell forward, bro, and oh, no. landed literally on the butcher knife. Bam! And Jeez. my dad had to pull the butcher knife out, bro. And he told me that the river—he never seen a red river before. Shut up! Are you serious? Yeah, dude. Did you get stitches yes. or anything like that? We we didn't have a doctor back, <laughs> you know, back then. So, so he used about? the same root. You know, he used the same root. The, the one he's smashing. Yeah. And he put it as a uh, as a a band aid. Basically, it's it helps stop the blood. But he told me I was in a coma for a week. Shut the hell up! No, no stitches or nothing, bro. Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy, and, and, bro, bro. And I tell today, uh, I go maybe he's bullshitting me, right? <laughs> right? And I could feel the crack in my skull all the way from my oh my god, my dude. Eyebrow, dude. I, I could feel the crack. Like Dude, where the knife crazy. went in. It's like it's like this far, bro. Your dad almost killed you. <laughs> well, I almost killed myself because well, yeah, I fell forward. Yeah, right. You're like, what's going on down here, Dad? Yeah, bam, oh, left fell forward, dude. Yeah. Well, uh, next time through. I'm with you, I'm, you I'm gonna it. let you feel it. You made it through I, I I'll definitely feel that. No, you so you made it through that one. What's what's another okay. one? That, yeah. And then and then and then at um I'm gonna say at four years old, I climbed a coconut tree, like like a coconut tree, bro, and I fell off. Head first, oh, jeez, and, and uh, this located my neck. So I was walking around six months, bro, with my neck like this. Oh my god, Jesus! And and and, and all the neighborhood kids would call me drool because because I would drool. Oh my goodness, dude! I would walk around, yeah, drool, drooling, bro, because my neck's pop, and um, uh, and then my my family didn't have enough money to you know you, you got to go into the city. Uh, to to see a uh, back then as a witch doctor, so so finally after six months uh, they were able to take me to town and they had to snap my neck back. My gosh! Wow! Uh, man. Wow! Okay. Yeah. And so that's so, two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And and when I was twenty two years old. Um, I got into a, a a car accident where I went out the windshield. Both both me and my buddies. I was yeah. driving my dad's uh, station wagon. Uh -huh. You know that's only car. Yeah, and I was drunk as hell. Uh -oh. You know, going back to the wedding. You know, I, I had to drop off my dad. Yeah. At another part, and I went back to the wedding. I never made it. 
Oh, my. I ran a two stop and I went straight into an embankment, 50 miles per hour. And me and my buddy literally went out the window halfway. Like, no way. Yeah, literally. And I, and, and I woke up and I look at him. He's, he's outside too. Like, and, and I woke him up and he's all moaning, you know, and the stuff. And I, I got out of the car, bro. And I, and, and I look at my car, my car's all like smashed in, dude, like that. And I still was able to get in the car and I'm trying to start it because I'm not afraid the cops going to come. And, and my friends all, uh, you know, he broke his elbow and knee and, uh, I busted oh. my, my lip was hanging, bro. My lip was literally hanging like that. And, my, my hair was all, you know, boom. And, and the stupid cop made me walk the line, bro. They made what? me walk the line. You're like, yeah, they made me walk officer, the line. can't you see that I'm not okay? It literally went through a windshield <laughs> yeah. right here. Yeah, 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 exactly. So wow. um, until, until this day, I'm picking glass out of my head. To this Are day. you serious? Yeah. I still got fragments of, of pieces of glass. Yeah. Yikes, it's man. Crazy. Yeah sucks what so what else what else is there is that it oh Except man seven. i had another one <laughs> give me a good one here oh, me one. Pretty, um, <laughs> yeah i skipped high school right and um and my because my buddy wants to go to another high school uh in um in, in seattle in seattle there's a high school there i think it's rainier right off rainier there's a high school there okay so so we uh, we snuck into school to, to he wanted to talk to his girlfriend so i said oh go ahead all right we're gonna sneak into school you know waited to lunch you know like like more you know normal student there but on the way back uh uh we saw the the, the group that he doesn't get along with uh oh you know, you know they saw each other they start flipping each other off oh man i'm like i'm like hey bro uh, we can't let them do this to us man come on man we're gonna uh. go back he goes, Manny, don't. You're so stupid. You're so stupid, Manny. He goes, no, I'm going back, bro. Uh, you know, we're, we're getting disrespected. And he goes, fine. Um, uh, stop at the A store so we can buy at least a screwdriver. Oh, my you know? God. Dude, so we went to the school and, 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 they, and then we met him across the street. And, uh, and, and he told my buddy one-on-one because -on -one, there was five of them. Five and then they had a girl. There were five of them. And the biggest guy said one-on-one -on -one with my friend, right? And uh, my friends said, okay. So they stopped fighting right there in the middle of the uh, Rainier Ave where cars going by. They just stopped fighting. Boom, 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 right? And my friend was winning, right? Yeah. And then uh, and then another guy points at me and says, okay, me and you one-on-one -on -one now. I said, okay. And I grabbed the screwdriver and I stabbed it on the, the ground, right? I yeah. took it out my I stabbed it on. I said, okay, one. As soon as he saw that, he pulled out a gun, bro. Oh, yeah, shit. He pulled out a gun, dude. And I was like. Hey, you know, gun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're like, oh, uh, that's it. I guess that's the end of this fight. Yeah. <laughs> Holy Dude. shit. And then and, and he just popped you around in the air. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, he popped uh, so around you, in the you, air. Did you, and, 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 did you and, just and, freeze or what? Did you what, what yeah. do you like um he, he, he popped you around and then we ran to the car. <laughs> the car. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yikes, dude. So yeah, that's you know not that's not a good one, but that's a story, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yikes, man. Man. All yeah. Right. Imagine me with a. Yeah, I wouldn't be here today. The, it, the good thing it was in broad daylight. It was like you know <laughs> uh, three o'clock and a half. You know, right, right when school got off. Yeah. You know, but, but stupid me, I'm hard headed. You know, nobody's gonna flip us off and get away with it. You know. Testosterone, man. It's dangerous. Yeah, you know. Dangerous stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you one more last one. Okay. All right, all right last one. All right. Um, I was 25. I went to this house party, right? And um, this, you know, a lot of gangbangers there and whatever. It's in Auburn here, right? Right down the hill from the Market Street Casino, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a house, you know, owned by uh, this native young kid who's a troublemaker. You know, he invite like gang members and everything. And uh, I got invited to it, so I went there. Yes, uh, yes, you know, stupid me. Yeah, yeah, I went there. There was like at least a hundred people there. Oh God. And then, um, and then in front there was. Two girls fighting, two girls just fighting, and then the the other girl was like beating this other girl's ass, bro, like stomping on her, you know, beating her. She's all bloody, and she won't stop. So I grabbed the girl, and I said, "Okay, enough, right?" Yeah. Like that. And her boyfriend grabbed me, uh, and 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 said, "Hey, don't touch my girl." Okay. Oh, so I, I said, "No, I'm not." You know, I said, "No, no, I'm trying to stop the fight," and he tried to hit me with a beer bottle. Oh, 
and and I dodged a little bit, right? I, yeah. I dodged a little bit, and I ran across the street pretending I have a gun, right? Oh, shit. I don't have nothing. I, I... <laughs> the, the, the guy that had, uh, tried to hit me with the bag, I pulled out a real gun. Jesus, dude. And start chasing me. Uh, <laughs> and start chasing me around this car, bro, for like five minutes. Around yeah, this one car. It. You know? So finally, one of my friends that knew both of us. Yeah. Right? Uh, grab on and say, hey, 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 this is my OG. This is Manny. You know? This is Manny, man. You know, let's get out here. This is Manny. Yeah. And then, and then he just... Put the gun away and, and, and laugh, bro. I was like, "Oh God, dude!" Jeez, man, you're making my heart race. <laughs> man, dude, we to... playing like you know, cat and mouse. You go this way, I go this way around this this car. Yeah. Right. And he had a real gun. I didn't have shit. Jesus. Yeah. Well, hopefully, you're not getting into that kind of trouble anymore. <laughs> no, no, man. Was... This is like your 20s back in the day, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and don't pretend you have a gun <laughs> if you don't have a gun. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Jeez, man. Yeah. Well, all right. We're going to lighten this up. We're going to lighten this up a little bit because it's getting pretty yeah, heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? all right, That's okay. why, you know, I thank God every day I'm some, you know. Yeah, no kidding. Man. Yeah. You see, like you have, you said you have, uh, you, you have seven or so stories that where you have yeah, uh, yeah. death experiences. I'm beginning to think you're a cat because you have like nine lives. So you're you're like uh, knocking these off here. You're you're close to nine. Well, I'm a rhino. Man. I'm a rhino. <laughs> there you go. Pie rhino, now cat. And rhinos yeah. have that, that thick skin where you can. Yeah, I got. I got you. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. you. Yeah. Yep. The spiky yeah. hair and the thick skin. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what is the greatest action movie of all time? Wow, of all time action. Just your opinion. Just your opinion. Man, I think I think Rambo. Uh, I could watch Rambo all day. You know, which one? All Rambo, of them, or just which? Rambo, the, first the, the first. You know, yeah, the first one I could watch all oh, day. First Blood. And the second one too. I mean, I mean, there's so many. I can't. I can't. You know, there's so many. You know, you could go to horror. You could. It depend on what I, type of. Right. Yeah. You know? I love First Blood. First, the first, first, the first one. Solid. Love that movie. Yeah. The other ones are kind yeah, of yeah. cartoony, but they're still they're still yeah. they're still entertaining. They're still entertaining. So yeah, yeah, I think that's action. You know. Yeah, absolutely, it's action. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Predator. You know, Predator was always good. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, Schwarzenegger. You know, you can't. You know, uh, Van Damme back then was the shit. You know, blood sport. Blood sport. You know, yeah. <laughs> Kickboxer. Yeah, blood sport. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, that was a shit, you know? Yep, yep. Good entertainment back in the day, especially when we were kids. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Those are like, I want to be like him, you know? Right, right. Okay, Manny, now what is your favorite fast food and your least favorite fast food restaurant? Wow. Just, just, for, just for regular, out of like the big fast food restaurant chains, what's your favorite, what's your least favorite? Wow, because I don't really like fast food unless you know I'm starving, you know, unless I don't want to cook or you know, there's no okay. you know, there's no Thai food or yeah. so wait, say, if, you, well, if you had to go to one, well, you're like the best oh, I'm starving. I have to go to one. You know the best the best you can't go wrong is McDonald's. McDonald's is always you know, a solid answer. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's always solid. Yeah. And probably the worst uh, would be maybe Wendy's. At Wendy's, you get more beans and less bun. Hey, where's the beef? I don't think there's anybody back there. You want something better. You're Wendy's kind of people. All right, solid. Okay, all right. Okay, now, Manny, what is the last movie that you saw in the theater? Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, uh, Avatar. Oh, Avatar. Holy shit. That's Avatar. A Damn, that's a long time ago. What is that? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I Nine? 15 years ago? That's a long time ago. <laughs> see, see, I don't like movies because I, I, I don't want to sit there and just yeah. you know, sit there for, the two, for what, two hours or, right. you know. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's like my dad. My dad's like, I can't smoke while I'm in the theater, so why would I want to go there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't drink. You know, I can't, you know, 
<laughs> right, right. Gotta sneak it in, you know? Exactly. Yeah. All right. Now, Manny, uh, what is your go-to karaoke song? Man, probably uh, Hemorrhage by Fuel. Oh, Fuel. okay. Lead on me. Be a fun song. I've never done and, this. Uh, and, who, and also Huba Stang. The reason. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I know yeah. that too. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, those are my, my two ones, I, I guess. Boom, right on. Yeah. Awesome. Um, when's the last time you did karaoke? Did you do it like recently? Uh, yeah, I did it like last week. I was at the monkey. Yeah, you know. funky monkey. Yes, the spunky monkey. That's yeah. awesome. Man. Next time you come down, bro, we go, oh, we'll yeah. go to the spunk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. definitely go there. We'll definitely hit that up. I haven't been there in a long time. Yeah, have to hit, definitely hit it up. Okay, now, what is your go-to appetizer if you're at a bar or a restaurant and you don't know anything about the place? You're like, you know what? I'm just going to order whatever. Uh, chicken wings. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Boom. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Um, Manny, is Michael Jordan the greatest basketball player of all time? Uh, in his era. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, how yeah. about, how about, how about of all time? Who's the greatest of all time? Man, you know, the greatest of all time, dude. It's I, such a debate. I, I, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. I can't, I, I can't say there's the greatest of all time because everything has time. I, I'm with you, you man. I mean, there's yeah. always going to be, there's always going to be somebody better than the last. That's for sure. Will you Chamberlain, know? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, like it, Le- LeBron James. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it always yeah. goes by era. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's on time. Hey, yeah, it's all, it's all in the era, you know. So, so I can't say who's the greatest. Gotcha, gotcha. I respect it. I respect it. All right, so Manny, your favorite cartoon of all time. <laughs> Anything. What's your favorite uh, cartoon? Oh, uh, man, it's going to have to be – it's gonna have to be Tom and Jerry, man. You can't. <laughs> Good old Tom and Jerry. Nice. You know, I don't watch cartoon no more. You know what I mean? Like I don't right. really watch cartoon no more. But 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 sometimes I watch Tom and Jerry. And like you know, if I see some clips or whatever, you know. Awesome. But yeah, I love me some Tom and Jerry. Right on. Okay. You walk into a gas station to grab a snack for the road. What are you choosing? Ooh, beef jerky, man. Boom! Got to get that protein. Yeah. Yeah, beef jerky, dude. Yeah. Which way is yep. the gym? Is it this way or this way? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Manny. Who is your favorite superhero or superhero movie? What's your favorite superhero movie or superhero? Wow. I'm starting to like Batman. I don't know why. I, which uh which, for do, some reason Bat you know which for some reason that? Batman's been making more sagas than any other Oh yeah. It's probably Batman. Superman's kind of like the uh, the old school because like everything about the Superman movies or the the even the 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 old comic cartoons, everything is like old school. Like he worked at a newspaper. Newspaper? What's that? What's a newspaper? Well, it's kind of like this thing that people got information from. Okay, so then how would he change? Oh, he would go into a a phone booth. Phone booth? What, what the hell? What's a phone booth? What? Well, it's like these things that people used to put money in and make a phone call. What, what about a cell phone? Okay, all right, okay. And then he would put glasses on, and then all of a sudden he'd be like Clark Kent. But can you tell that he was just like, I, I can't tell it's Manny. He has glasses on. Oh, well, you know, he takes them off, and then he, okay. It's just, it's, yeah. <laughs> I love Superman, but it is kind of like a, a cheesy kind of, like older kind of story. And it's, they have a, they have a tough time trying to like, revive yeah. that story right yeah, yeah 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 they have his disguise is not really disguising it's so ridiculous it's, yeah right it's so ridiculous yeah yeah uh, all right so manny does pineapple belong on pizza sure why not i mean it's food you could eat it <laughs> some people are very uh very passionate about you know their anti yeah, fair, yeah. you know what i mean like like it's it's your preference exactly you like it you know, it's food. It, yeah, uh-huh. anything could go with that food. You know, I'm just asking the questions, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Manny, it's letting you know, right? It's food. It's food. <laughs> exactly. So Manny, just a few more of these questions. All right, 
okay. greatest video game of all time, or what is your favorite video game of all time? What, what's the one that you played the most? Oh, what's the one that you loved? The, the first one that came to your head? What's, what's your favorite video Probably game? Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat. The oh, finish him. Fight. Excellent. Finish him. Scorpion win. Yeah. That was good. I like the guy at the race. Like, he's like weaving. He's like, yeah. finish him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's so great. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Manny, what is your all time favorite cereal? Ooh. Yeah. Man, probably Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch, the captain. Yeah. Now, do you like uh, just regular Captain Crunch, or do you like the uh, the berries, Crunch berries, or what? what you like? Yeah, yeah, berries? yeah. I have to have uh, some kind of fruit flavor or berries. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I saw it like a few. Years. I I don't really eat that that. I mean, I love it, but I don't really eat cereal that much anymore. But um, I noticed that they had they started just make because people like love the berries. They're like, oh, I love the berries, so they made like all berries. I'm like, whoa, whoa, isn't that a little bit like overboard, like? Make it all berries, like it's kind of already sweet enough, right? I don't know. Um, yeah. And then they did you did you ever like the peanut butter Captain Crunch? No, no, no. Not a big fan of the peanut butter Captain Crunch. Yeah. Okay. Like <laughs> okay, gotcha. Okay. Peanut butter, yeah. You, I don't know. Peanut butter and cereal doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Now, this next question is just because I miss these two foods the most because I don't live in the Seattle area anymore. And, you know, even, like you down in California or in Seattle, um, the population is, is more diverse than it is even where I am right here uh, it, with this type of food, especially. Now, if you had to choose between teriyaki or Thai, what are you going with? Man, Thai, of course. Thai? Thai. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm, you know, the Lao and Thai are like similar. Gotcha. We gotcha. almost speak the same language. There's almost. lots of, it seems like there's variety, like different kinds of, because I, I used to get like spicy teriyaki. That was always my go-to for teriyaki. But like Thai, there's like a lot more diverse stuff in here that I could go with. It seems like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And, and teriyaki is too sweet. It is kind of sweet. It's you like it's super salty. Like I, I just, yeah. I'd always be like, man, why am I so bloated? I'm like, because you're filled with sodium. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's that's like why I sugar and sweet. Yep. That's why I try to stop eating teriyaki. Like I stopped for like 20 years and lately I've been going there for like the last month two two times to the teriyaki place, but I always get the short ribs. Oh, okay. Get the ribs. Yeah, get the ribs. <laughs> you know. All right, okay. Bonus bonus question right here. Bonus question. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your favorite teacher? Growing up, Miss Bobson. Miss Bobson. I Miss Bobson yeah. twice. I Miss Bobson for first and second grade. Dude, for some reason, she. I had a crush on her when I was first grade, bro. I thought she, she was, was like hottest. so nice, and she was. Yeah, she, she was, was pretty. pretty. Yeah. yeah, she was pretty. Yeah. That's good. That's a great answer. That's a great answer. I like that answer. That's good. And she was like really super, like really patient and nice with everybody. She was like the perfect. Like if I could, if I could think of like a a perfect like image of a an elementary school teacher, especially like for young kids, that would be it. Yeah. And yeah, we had, yeah, yeah. We had that teacher. Yeah. What about yeah. how she's doing these days? I always like wonder if like some of the, some of our teachers back in the day are still alive. I'm like, I bet you. The, do you Half of them, bro. It's been 40 years. Oh my gosh. That is so crazy. Yeah. Like miss, miss, uh, what was her name? Miss, um, Otwell or miss Stanley or yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no way she's, <laughs> there's no way she's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. She was way oh, past right. retirement when we were there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> yeah, so, oh. um, well, dude, man, is there anything else you'd like to add? Is there anything else you'd like to add? I, mean, I know I'm cutting into you, uh, some of your uh, happy hour time here. No, just thank you for having me on the show. You know, hopefully we can do it live, you know what I mean? Hell yeah, man. Yeah, if you're ever down in this live. area, I'd love to have you sit right next to me and just shoot the shit about anything. Yeah, about everything, bro, like, you know. Any topic, you know, I'm down oh, yeah. to talk about and have my own opinion, you know. Absolutely, man. Yeah, I love so, it. I love it. it. I love having those yeah. kind of episodes. They're they're so fun to just, you know, talk about what's going on and 
or just yeah your opinions on anything because uh because you're a cool dude we go way back we go yep, way back. we do you know That's and right. yeah so you know thank you for having me on the show and i i hope i'll be on the show again and you know hopefully soon. awesome man awesome all right man. Talk about anything, so. absolutely all right for manny ratzevong i'm josh and as always thank you for being a friend Thank you, my friend. Thank you.